But I'm sorry, if you're talking about really strong midfields, particularly amongst elite level teams across Europe, this isn't one of them. Fernandez, who is not a great tracker back, Mount, who's not really a central midfielder, likes to get forward, and Casemiro, who's heading closer to his middle 30s. So I, I, I don't think, I think this is just a squad booster for me. Uh, but it's not going to go anywhere near to solving the issues they're going to have in the middle of the park. Craig, you got a point, Mark? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you, you know, it, that's a lot of work on, on Casemiro's shoulders, isn't it, to basically be the only defensive player in that midfield. I think, you know, it's asking a lot of them. I think United do need to find another midfielder, I think, to, to bolster their options. And I think it's a big season for Bruno Fernandes, you know. There, are, there were times last season we thought, is this guy really the guy that's got this big reputation? I think he let them down a few times. He's, he doesn't miss many games, but was he really delivering like he did in his first couple of seasons? I'm not too sure. So I think I think Mason Mount, you know, Ian mentioned Ericsson. I think Ericsson faded quite badly last season when he came back after injury. So I think he's probably the natural replacement for, for Ericsson. But he is one of those players, Mason Mount. He gives you energy, he gives you tenacity, he's young, he's... It'll never lack for effort, but I don't quite know what he does. Like Craig was saying, I'm not quite sure what his actual role is. So, yes, a good squad addition, and he makes them better in in, this, in the sense that you know he's got experience and he's he won't let you down. But he's not he's not a Declan Rice, so he's not a Alexis McAllister. Even you can't really define what he does, you know. And that's that's the United's problem. They've got a lot of players you can't define what they do. Um, I, I, to, to that point, I, I just think Mr. Mont is better than what they had, and and it's an improvement. And, and the weird thing. In, in trying to figure out Manchester United, this, well, this summer in, in particular is, given some of the deficiencies in the squad and, and some of the boosting that, that they absolutely do need, if they are to catch the likes of Arsenal and, and dare I say, Manchester City. But then, I, I want to say 55 million is, is a drop in the bucket, or you'd expect for, a, for a, an England international, for somebody to come in, in to Manchester United. But then we are having other conversations about Manchester United, about players that they need, where 50 million is too much. And, and so now I, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to kind of close that circle where we are talking about one of the biggest clubs in world football, one of the biggest spenders in, in, in English football, and now all of a sudden 50 million is, 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 is a ceiling and, and is pushing the boat out. And, and that for me is, is kind of odd in, in trying to assess Mason Mount or whoever else might come. Now, if you said to me, Man United have brought a goalie, a striker, a dynamic, powerful midfield, whatever it is, and then Mason Mount, I would, yeah. Right. I, I, I'd be like, yeah, I can see that. Somebody who can come in, he'll cover three or four positions and he'll cover them well. He won't cause you a problem, you wouldn't imagine. Uh, he'll work hard. Then, then I, 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 I'm all for that. But I'm looking at that team, and this is very early, right? I'm looking at that team. We've got the weaknesses already in the middle of the park. You've got two wide guys that, let's be fair, have been pants, mm -hmm. right? And you've got Marcus Rashford, who scored most of his goals off the left-hand side, and you look at Rashford's stats and his consistency over the last five or six years, and you're asking him to go and score those goals again. Historically, you check back, he's not been able to do that. So, quite frankly, at the moment, this, to me, looks like a Man United team that will get results against the cannon fodder in the Premier League, but quite frankly, against the, 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 the elite teams and the top six, that's not a strong Man United side. And that's where I've got a problem with spending 55, 60 million on a player. And I've brought this up. Every time we talk about Mason Mount, I say the same thing and it's not going to change until they actually show us that they can sign players in positions that they are desperate for. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.